morning it's actually it's not morning it's 11 20. i woke up at 7 today life has been so hectic uh we've been looking for a place since day one since we got here and um we still haven't found anything and it's been it's been over two weeks since we got here and we are seeing places pretty much every single day um and there's nothing that like you know is what we are looking for if you know if that makes sense like there are some nice places but then like the area is just like so sketch that like it's a no for us so there's just like it's hard to find a place that would check all of our boxes so we will definitely have to compromise um which is fine um but yeah it's summer so like you gotta basically be ready that like it's gonna be hard to find a place in LA to rent or to buy quite honestly but it's funny because like we've been looking to rent and then we're like wait we can't find anything in our price range that like is what we want so why not look at places to buy and just keep you know our monthlies within the range that we plan to to rent a place for and we actually found some places what we were looking for was um two bedroom um or a bedroom with a den or with a loft and we found actually quite a few places in our price range that we couldn't really find you know a perfect place just in a few days but that made us like curious like hey why not start a home search like obviously it takes time when we are um, searching for our first home like it took us over a year well not to find a place but maybe get our offer accepted because we found a place um in dallas that like we loved um, on the first day of our search uh, we put an offer on it we were outbid by one offer our offer was over asking still there was someone who outbid us and then after a few months we asked our realtor like can you check on that house like can you tell us how much over the house went and guess what the person who outbid us uh they bid just five thousand over our offer uh thing is that when they were doing inspection and stuff uh they found some things that they needed to fix and they actually lowered the price by six thousand so technically if they would go with our offer and we wouldn't like um ask them for any money back for any repairs uh they would make more money it was an older house it had so much character it was beautiful uh very nice location too in dallas you know, it's possible we would like living in Dallas more if we would buy that house. We both stayed in that area because it was very walkable, close to very cool restaurants and places. And that's what we, I mean, I guess we found it in the new area too, but I don't know. Maybe there will be a lot more young people in that area. We only have, okay, so we literally have like two weeks to move out of this Airbnb. That means that we have to book flights to fly to Dallas to pack everything. Uh, we already booked the pod, so um, that's settled, but we still need to sign a new lease, uh, start moving some of this stuff inside of our new apartment that we don't know which one that will be yet, but we're going to make that decision today and, you know, it's fine. We're just going to be there probably for a year if it's not going to be, you know, the one, the one apartment that we were looking for. That's the plan for today. Um, I was working so hard over this weekend. Um, I had a lot of work that um, I was, I had to do, but like with, you know, viewing places and stuff, like I was falling a little behind. So I basically made that up over this weekend because I was working like eight, nine hours a day, just push through and and finally be on top of it so at least i'm done with that so i feel like um i feel a little less stressed i'm definitely tired but at least i don't have to worry about that stuff so i just want to finally be done with this apartment search because it's too much you know it's just too stressful especially that like you know um even tony was just like i can't find anything like we're gonna have to go back and it's like it's also like I'm trying to make that decision, like, should we just give up on that? Should we just, like, go back? But it's like, I don't want to 
fly back and ship the car. And Tony's like, I'm not gonna drive back. So I'm like, we have to make this work then because it doesn't work for me. Like, <laughs> uh, it just, it's, it's too much, so. Okay, let's go to see the first condo that we are touring. It was located in West LA, right off the Bundy exit on Sentinella. If you live in LA, you know that Bundy and also Sentinella are one of the busiest streets in uh, this area, so not ideal. But the apartment was located in a newer building and it was a two bedroom, two bath under 800,000. After arriving, we realized that this unit was located on the first floor. So it was pretty dark, as you can see, they had all the lights on, but still very shady, straight up looking at sidewalk right there. Overall, the apartment was very spacious, as you can see here, it's a pretty big living room and a kitchen. Uh, this unit, I believe, was built in 2005, so they didn't really renovate it or anything. It still looks like, you know, it's from that era, uh, but definitely still much better than, you know, any buildings that are older. So I would say it didn't really need that much work uh, unless, you know, it's not your aesthetics. As you can see, you know, you can tell if that's your style or not, but totally livable, like turnkey, and it had a washer and dryer, which is nice. Personally, not a fan of this vanity outside of the bathroom, but uh, I could live with it. Could totally fit a small desk in the master, so that's great. And here's the washer and dryer. They said that they would uh, leave it, uh, so uh, that's definitely another pro. Uh, a lot of apartments in Texas, they, they always take the washer and dryer, which is weird. Second condo was actually not that far from the first one that we toured. Also West LA in a much older building. I believe this building was from 60s or 70s. Uh, and again, it wasn't really renovated, but uh, it was much cheaper at 625 currently. When we were touring, it was actually at 650. Uh, they recently lowered the price and this unit is actually still available. It's a pretty spacious one bedroom, one bath with a loft, which technically uh, you could actually turn into another bedroom if you would close it up there's a closet there so um, that could totally be a second um, bedroom but you would lose that you know spacious feel of the loft a little bit but it has a window so yeah it could totally be a second bedroom which is nice or or an open office as they did here this condo also had a lower hoas uh, I believe it was around 300 It was definitely less than $400. HOAs get pretty expensive. Like, I see some newer apartments with HOAs at, like, $2,000, which is insane. But keep in mind, you do get a lot more amenities, and usually, you know, you get what you pay for. Like, uh, these buildings with higher HOAs, they are, like, very, very luxurious. Uh, you sometimes get, like, tennis courts. You get a lot more like fancy common areas and you know everything is just like you know newer and, and fancier uh, so you definitely didn't get that with this building here's the bathroom and right off it there is a master which was pretty big you could definitely fit a desk here too um and here's the kitchen not renovated there was also a lot of popcorn ceiling that usually is a very expensive to remove and here's how the building looked from the outside and we also decided to check out the parking garage and also the common laundry area, which was right next to all the parking spaces. Unfortunately, there was no washer and dryer hookups in the apartment. They did say that you could ask HOA and maybe they would allow you to install it, but you never know. And honestly, that's a big draw for me. And in this building, you also get access to this roof deck, which uh, definitely uh, seen better days. It's uh, It hasn't been really renovated since probably they, you know, built it. No one was really using it, but also it was right next to the freeway, so it was pretty noisy. And we are off to the next one. The third condo was actually the newest out of all the three we saw and was located in Playa Vista and was in a beautiful, beautiful area. There was a park right next to that building. It felt very safe and walkable, which is very important to us. So uh, definitely first impressions, wow. <laughs> This was a two bed, one bath condo, and it was uh, the most expensive uh, out of all these three. And to be completely honest, we liked it the most. Even though we had a very hard time finding the realtor because he had no reception in the unit, which could be a red flag, 
This unit was facing the courtyard, so it was a little darker. It was also on the second floor. I feel like if it would be located on the other side, um, it could maybe get more light because you can see in the morning, um, it wasn't really getting much. Those shadows weren't helping either. I honestly, I love the look of shadows, but unfortunately they do steal a lot of light. So I would definitely have to uh, take them off. This was a closet in the spare bedroom. It wasn't too big, but it wasn't bad. Here's the living room. Not pretty spacious. Unfortunately, there was carpet everywhere. Here's the master bedroom. Uh, there's only one window there, which is fine. I mean, there is plenty of room here, so you can fit a desk. I mean, I would prefer more light, but also, uh, you know, it is a bedroom, so I guess we could just use the other uh, bedroom as an office. You can see that actually allowed for a lot more light to get in, so not too bad. And here is the master closet, very spacious. And the master bathroom. The bathroom was the only area in this unit that showed the age of it because a part of it, like the unit had a very like brand new feel. Maybe because they replaced the carpets, uh, the realtor didn't say anything, but the carpets were very clean and yeah, I guess maybe that kind of refreshed uh, the whole apartment. I feel like the bathroom would need a little bit of work. The bathtub was very dirty. Anyhow, we are both allergic to dust mites and carpets are notorious for being a nightmare for people with allergies. The kitchen in this condo looked pretty good. I actually feel like I wouldn't need to change anything. And here is a little secluded balcony, which felt very cozy and was pretty spacious. Uh, the owners were keeping some stuff there as a storage, but also they were able to fit uh, two nice chairs. And of course, we also had to check out the garage to see if maybe we could charge our Tesla here. But unfortunately, there were no outlets, so no way. Okay, and the last condo was actually the most expensive out of all of these. It was a million dollars and it was located in West LA in a very nice, quiet area. It was a penthouse, so you had no neighbors above you and also actually next to you because it was completely separated from all the neighbors. There was only one other unit on the same floor and you were separated by elevators and stairs from them. So fully private, love that. It was a huge two bed, two bath. As you can see, even the spare bedroom had a walk-in closet and was pretty big. The view maybe wasn't like amazing, but at least it was private. You didn't have another building, you know, looking into your bedroom. And again, even more storage. There was a closet right next to the front door for your jackets and shoes. And a must have for me, a washer and dryer was also in that unit. It was that small washer and dryer that like, I'm not a big fan of, but it will do, it's fine. And we are walking into the living room and a kitchen. And this building was built in 2016, so everything was pretty new. Um, it was a very interesting choice for the kitchen, the yellow cabinets, uh, and also like a very weird looking tile. I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, like what, what, what do you even call this style? Like the wavy uh, 3D tile, I don't know. Um, but here was the huge, huge uh, master bedroom. Like it was so big. Um, here is the master bathroom with a bathtub, which again, very important to me. Uh, yeah, that master bedroom was kind of even too big for me. Uh, it had a huge uh, master closet. I honestly feel like this apartment would be much better uh, with three bedrooms. Like if they would make the living room and uh, all the bedrooms, or at least the master bedroom smaller, it would be perfect. Because, you know, two bedroom at a million, it is a little pricey. I feel like, uh, I don't know, like it's it just, it's too big for me. It's, you know, 1400 square feet. Like that's a lot for two bedroom. We both really like this unit and we're really considering it, but like it just it's just too expensive for two bedroom. It had a very nice uh, balcony here. I love that. This whole like 
area. The street was super quiet and oh, just very walkable, felt safe. This condo received multiple offers and sold for over asking price. Okay, so we just saw another apartment and um, well, we like the building a lot, um, but they didn't have anything available. So that apartment we saw uh, supposed to like, that was the first day uh, it became available. Like they literally moved out uh, yesterday, but somebody already rented it. So it's important to note that these are one bedrooms and not two bedrooms. And we found that one bedrooms are just going super fast right now. So a lot of times yeah. sight unseen. And this building is the first building we actually like walked in. And we were like, oh, we actually really it like this building. It smelled really good there. Well, and <laughs> what, what I figured out is that something that I like more about buildings, and I would imagine probably a lot of people do, is when the entrance to your apartment is inside the building itself versus a lot of the buildings here, they build them so that you're still outside when you're walking around the apartment building. So like if it's raining or if it's windy or something, as soon as you walk out your apartment door, even if you're like on your way to the garage where your car is or on the street, like you get exposed to the elements right away. And that can be a pain if you're trying to like bring a bunch of stuff in from your car or whatever. And what I liked about it being fully covered is you're kind of weathered from the elements. Now this is, this is like, totally like a like wow it's so nice that you get to be able to say that that's what you like or whatever and I like mean, i know that this is like a benefit like it's an indoor outdoor space it's like oh so cool especially in la so it, it's uh it's definitely you know some people actually look for it i don't really care i personally would also probably prefer you know um just a closed uh hole well it know? just keeps everything cleaner too like yeah. everywhere inside feels clean because it's closed but like, it's not just that. The The apartment itself was very nice. It felt like someone designed it. It's like a, a lot of these apartments yeah. we see that are higher end or whatever, and like they have nice stuff in them, but it feels like someone was just like, we're just gonna buy it here and there and install it. It didn't yeah. feel like someone planned the apartment. Yeah. They were just like, here's the floor plan that we have to work with. You know, let's just kind of make like it the work. cheapest appliances. Yeah, they definitely like, they had very like high end finishes. This apartment building felt very very luxurious like you know when we see like all oh, luxurious you know apartments and it's like yeah it the luxurious is just the price it's so overpriced you know but it's it's you know it's not nice and this one was incredible this is an actual nice unit my concern with it before we saw it was that it is literally on santa monica boulevard but yeah. um like even the unit that we saw which is facing like parallel Santa Monica so it's not like directly out Santa Monica but like to the side of it it wasn't even that loud because Santa Monica is not a very high speed street like the max anyone's going maybe 40 45 miles an hour granted I am worried you're gonna get that one guy who you know blows through at night with his super loud exhaust and it just wakes you up so like you can't sleep with the window open but the the unit that they do still have available it doesn't come until September is facing the other way into a more neighborhood area so it wouldn't be as loud but also we would only get morning light and again these are both only one bedrooms which are you know something we're considering and the layouts of these are actually nice enough we could probably make it work but having lived with separate rooms for us to work in now for you know over a year and a half it's yeah. like it's pretty difficult to go back to that especially when we both work remotely and yeah we're like you know you have a meeting like i'm trying to film something it's like you know it just it's it's mm, a little frustrating like we could make it work but we also for the same price we can get a two bedroom like for the same price in a different building sure yeah, yeah. It's the one bedroom so yeah and like the thing is we would outgrow the apartment and like i guess that's fine but at the same time it's like we don't know what we're gonna do and so like at this point now like like julia you were just saying you felt like really defeated after looking yeah. at all these apartments and it's been over two weeks and it's like we literally like didn't find anything available that we loved yeah and it's like, yeah we found stuff that's like we could make this work but nothing that we were like we would really love to live here and like it's at a point now where we're even just reconsidering our whole plan like maybe what we're gonna do is even look for somewhere to buy uh or like we have all these leasing agents we've been talking to maybe we'll just sort of go back to dallas and just have them be like ping us anytime that anything comes on that looks interesting um because they'll know what we're looking for because we've seen units with them um 
and then maybe do it that way. We don't know. There's all these options. Like, and we have these other constraints too, which is that like our house in Dallas right now um, is it's a hot time to rent because a lot of families move in the summer when their kids are not in school. And our house is like perfect for a small family. Uh, yeah. And so like it would be, it would absolutely be a great time to rent it in Dallas, which kind of puts stress on us to move out sooner, but we just, we aren't seeing anything we love here, which sucks. Yeah. So we're not really sure what we're gonna do at this point, but we're we're still considering different options. Like I'm hopeful, the beginning of the month, I think typically there's, there's a lot more. And in fact, that's when we found our last unit in Santa Monica was the very first week of September. Mm. Um, and in fact, I think it was Labor Day weekend, we came up and looked at a unit um, but yeah, it was just like that happened to be the time when a lot more listings came on. So like it's possible and we have to make some kind of decision by then. Like, are we going yeah, to gonna buy flight tickets or are we driving back? We got to book hotels. Right. Is, like, it, is it a one way, on is it a one way flight? Yeah. Are we trying to find somewhere to live here a little longer? Are we shipping our car back? Are we going back just long enough to rent a car for a week and pack up and come back? Like there's there's a lot of options here. And I think we'll have better clarity after this week, but you know, the longer we wait, the more expensive everything is. And so we'll Well, we'll and summer is such a hot time, like not just when it comes to temperature, but like everything, like everyone wants to fly everywhere, travel, you know, so hotels are more expensive, flights are more expensive. And also people are like renting now too. And it's like, dang, like, I guess no one does anything in winter and all of a sudden they just wake up in summer and they want to do everything <laughs> yeah but i know but i remember like waiting like if you wait till the fall or winter there are so many units that come on that are more reasonably priced just because mm -hmm. of the time of year the other thing is i think a lot of people don't want to rent stuff in the summer sometimes because it's when a lot of kids who are going to college are looking and like some of the areas we're looking at are not far from like ucla um like westwood is an area we really like brentwood's an area that we like um, and I'm sure there are people who are considering a little farther out than that too, but, um, right now kids want to find places to rent and they're going to rent a two or three bedroom and split it with their friends. That's right, yes. Um, and like, that's what they want. So we're kind of competing with that market as well. I yeah. think we're just going to try to, we're going to try to see some open houses now, just cause there are no more rentals to see for the weekend. <laughs> yeah. So we are like, okay, well, let's just see what we can afford in LA right now. Yeah. Cause really like we could afford to buy another house like or not house sorry to buy an apartment like a two or three bedroom apartment here and the, the monthlies would be high with current rates but we'd be able to make it work knowing that we'd eventually like refinance and you know all that like it might be possible but i don't know i don't like the idea of like rushing to buy an apartment either is the other thing yeah. like if we lived here and we could take a year to look that'd be nice exactly not to mention like inflation is crazy and like i don't know there's a lot of like uncertainty in the market i don't know we don't know what's gonna happen in a year uh prices may drop i mean they may not drop you know maybe a lot of people are thinking the same like okay let's rent it let's wait it's just like not a good time like everything we've seen on the market and everything else yeah